Photographers, are you tired of fussing over settings? Wouldn't it be nice to just concentrate on the composition of your images and only think about the timing to get the scene just right? Today, let's make photography easy so that we can be lazy photographers. We're going to leave perfection behind us. Well, while well, we're shooting anyway. Uh, this technique emphasizes spontaneity and doesn't worry about aperture, shutter duration, or ISO. If you free your mind to concentrate on the scene and the action in the scene, would your images be better? Now, I know that many of you feel the need to use manual mode and fully control exposure and focus settings you think that makes you a better photographer and takes full advantage of your camera's potential. But particularly in COVID times, even those of us who can appreciate all of those controls sometimes need to take a break. <laughs> now, I've said before that using manual settings means that the camera is taking advantage of you <laughs> to take full advantage of your camera. Let it do the things that it's designed to do. So, let me show you how lazy could work for you. Now, admittedly, it's not full-on lazy. This technique requires some post-production, using a photo editing application and fine-tuning the results. So, to set ourselves up for success, shoot RAW or RAW plus JPEG. That way, even if there is a slight miss in the exposure, or you didn't judge the color profile correctly, you'll be able to make the adjustments. So, set the mode dial to P, well, or on this Fujifilm camera, which doesn't have a mode dial, set the lens's aperture ring to A and the shutter dial to A. I also have auto ISO on, although I bounded it to stay under ISO 3200. Then, set the focus to auto, single, and choose the largest or the auto area setting. Then, Let's go for an unsponsored photo walk. These are photos I took using this technique a couple of days ago to get some images for my review of the new Fujifilm 18mm lens. It was a walk of about 8 kilometers while complying with the government's new stay home request. I took nearly 200 images, and I'm showing you all of them, pretty much in the order I took them as straight out of camera JPEGs. Because part of this technique is to shoot a lot, the idea is to fill your memory card and to drain your battery. The important thing is not to edit while you're out, just shoot everything. It's like bringing an extra battery. You never regret bringing it, only not bringing it. And Canadians have a saying, we think Wayne Gretzky said it, but who knows. Anyway, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Uh, an excellent mantra for opportunistic and lazy photographers and hockey players. Pressing the shutter is free. Cards are cheap. That's my pep talk. Uh, my goal or intent was to find scenes with color, things that caught my attention, things that spring out of a dull spring morning, flowers, fighter hydrants, that, that kind of thing. But as the seasons change from winter's textures to spring's colors, and as it was a slightly foggy morning, some mood and texture shots crept in. And who can resist the puppy in the window? Fujifilm's bracket saves multiple film simulations with a single shutter press. Mostly, I'm showing you the Velvi images, but there are a few Acros Mono images also. Now, there's very little disappointment here. There are none that are complete misses of either exposure or focus. There are a few that I flagged as keepers, and about a dozen that could use a little more work in an image editor. So before, then with highlight shadow and saturation adjustments. 
and this becomes this. Uh, sometimes a crop helps. All of these adjustments are fairly straightforward. I use Lightroom, but there are lots of alternates with similar capabilities. Which underlines that, particularly if you're saving RAW files, your camera captures a lot of data to work with. The key here was to let the camera set the exposure. Fine tuning can be done later if the image is worth it. So don't be so lazy that you don't go out at all, but be lazy enough that you can enjoy your adventures and still come home with a full memory card and an empty battery. Clearly, this is a general purpose approach, and it has some limitations. If you're trying to capture fast action sports, you'll want to use shutter priority. If your intent is portraits, go with aperture priority. And if you want to focus a very specific object, you'll want to set the focus point. But give lazy a try and let your camera do some of the work. As I said at the beginning, I'm not sponsored, so I don't stop in the middle to promote some product or service, nor do I allow YouTube to interrupt my videos with mid-roll ads. Those decisions make this a better channel for you, but they do have a financial impact, so I am very grateful to those of you who have decided to support this channel by becoming a member. Now, if membership is for you, please use the join button below. But subscribers need not worry. No content will be behind a paywall, and I will continue to read and reply to all relevant and civil comments and questions. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.